The Lord be with you. Good morning and welcome to this service of worship this morning. We are in late spring here in Northeast Ohio and thank goodness we're beginning to sense it. Uh, everything is in blossom and bloom and now we're even getting warm enough temperatures to wander out and enjoy it. So for those of you who reside in this area, I hope you will take every advantage uh, to be outside uh, at a little bit of distance. If you're visiting with us from across the country or elsewhere in the world, uh, please know you're most especially welcome. This special service is our spring celebration service featuring our children and our youth. It uh, traditionally closes the program year. Uh, the next Sundays, if we were meeting here, we would be on summer service time at 10 a.m. Uh, I have seen some of the clips of this ahead of time, and I think it's going to be a time of real joy. And I'm so grateful to uh, Rachel King, our Director of Children's Music, and uh, Amy Backstrom, our Director of Family Ministries. They have been instrumental in putting this together. Rachel especially has, has assembled all of the recordings. And um, as we prepare our hearts to worship God, joyously this, this morning, uh, I'd like to introduce Rachel King. Good morning and welcome to our spring celebration service. Every year in May, we have a special service led by our children and youth to celebrate our program year at FPC and all the great things that we've done in the past year. And this is going to look a little different than our other online services because it is made up of clips that our wonderful FPC families have submitted of their kids sharing their musical talents, artwork, and other skills from home. If you've been to one of our spring celebration services in person, you may remember lots of skits, lots of songs, lots of musical talents to share, and lots of other fun things put together by our children and youth. And even though we're apart this year, we hope that we can still share that joy and that energy and that spirit with you this morning. I know that it lifted my spirits to see all of the kids as I was putting these clips together this week, and I hope it can lift yours as well. Come into God's house. Come and hear what God has done. God has made the world and breathed the breath of life into us. But God hasn't stopped there. There is more. God is still on the scene, upholding all of our life, surrounding us in power and love. We live, move, and have our very being in God. Let the sound of God's praise be heard. Praise, praise God. God. Praise God. Praise God. God. Please pray with me. Source of all creation, maker of the world and everything in it, you are never far from each one of us. We come into your house seeking you, O giver of life and breath. Reveal yourself to us, dwell with us, and abide in us. 
We live because of you. We hope because of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, in whom we live, and the Spirit of truth who abides in us. Amen. I hear your cries, I see your beauty, I feel your pain, and my wisdom flows from my spirit within, I salute that spirit in you, let's work together for peace. As we gather separately, but together in spirit, let us confess the times we have failed to share with ourselves and others the unconditional grace and welcome which makes possible such a community of hopeful and loving witness. I invite you to join me as we pray together, then pray silently. Maker and giver of all, forgive us when we are too preoccupied to notice your presence in our lives. When we walk through this world and fail to see the wonder of you upholding our lives and all creation, when we walk through our lives and fail to see you abiding with, within, and around us. When we walk through holy moments and fail to savor your presence, instead of feeling abandoned in the vast sweep of life as each day rushes at us with its demands. Open our eyes to your presence, God of love, that we may lean on you, for you uphold all of creation in tenderness and power. Gracious God, hear our prayers. Amen. When Jesus left the disciples, he gave us a promise, I will not leave you orphaned, for we his dis disciples live in him and he in us, the presence of God within and around all. What a promise. Take courage. Take comfort. Blessed be God. Because Jesus Christ is in us and we in him, his peace is a powerful gift that we may share with others. Pass the blessing of this peace to your brothers and sisters in Christ and to all children of God. Scripture lesson number one, Psalm 66, 8 through 20. Praise our God, all peoples. Let the sound of his praise be heard. He has preserved our lives and kept our feet from slipping. For you, God, tested us. You refined us like silver. You brought us into prison and laid burdens on our backs. You let people ride over our heads. 
We went through fire and water, but you brought us to a place of abundance. I will come to your temple and burn offerings and fulfill my vows to you. Vows my lips promised and my mouth spoke when I was in trouble. I will sacrifice fat animals to you in an offering of rams. I will offer bulls and goats. Come in here, all you who fear God. Let me tell you what he has done for me. I cried out to him with my mouth. His praise was on my tongue. If I had cherished sin in my heart, the Lord would have not listened. But God has surely listened and has heard my prayer. Praise to be to God, who has rejected my rejected my prayer with or withheld his love from me. This is a psalm of praise written after a time of testing. Many of us have been going through a time of testing recently in our own lives. We are working and going to school from home. Our schedules have completely changed. Church is online and we have to do video chat with friends and family members instead of gathering in person. Many of us have felt lonely, scared, unsure of the future, anxious about sickness, and worried that we are missing out on the things that usually bring us joy. The psalm writer reminds us that God is with us through our times of testing. God listens to our prayers, hears our concerns, and loves us as we are. Even when we are grumpy or afraid, God is with us. When we turn our troubles over to God in prayer, God can help us turn those troubles into praise and find new ways to bring us joy and peace. It's okay to feel upset, scared, or angry, but while we go through this time apart, let us take comfort and knowledge that we are not truly alone. God loves us, is there, is there for us, and will listen to our troubles. We can't change the troubles that come our way, but we can choose to keep on praising God and find some joy. Maybe you can connect with your friends or relatives from far away that are normally too busy to talk to. Maybe you can finally have the time to do that puzzle you got for your birthday ages ago. Maybe you can learn a new skill or pick up a new hobby. Maybe working from home will give you a new perspective or remind your boss just how important you really are. Maybe we can learn some valuable lessons and new ways to help our families, community, and world after this crisis is over. After all, as we are reminded in Matthew 19, 26, With God, all things are possible.
John chapter 14, verses 15 through 21. If you love me, show it by doing what I've told you. I will talk to the Father, and he'll provide you another friend so that you will always have someone with you. This friend is the spirit of truth. The godless world can't take him in because it doesn't have eyes to see him, doesn't know what to look for. But you know him already because he has been staying with you and will even be in you. I will not leave you orphaned. I'm coming back. In just a little while, the world will no longer see me. But you're going to see me because I am alive and you're about to come alive. At the moment, you will know absolutely that I am in my Father, and you're in me, and I'm in you. The person who knows my commandments and keeps them, that's who loves me. And the person who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and make myself plain to him. Love everyone as God loves you. Love your best friend when he is gentle, helpful, and kind. Love your worst enemy while he, while he is selfish, angry, and mean. This is difficult this is a difficult lesson because but you have a mighty teacher and he will bless you when you like him. How can you show others God's love? How can you pass his love along to others? Here are some ways that we have shown God's love to others here at the First Presbyterian Church this year. Collecting school supplies for back to school projects, raising money for heifer projects to buy animals and sent to buy and send animals to those in need around the world. Serving meals for Salvation Army volunteering at People to People, raising funds for immigration worker projects, and collecting hats, mittens, and scarves for those in need at Christmas time. In this scripture reading, Jesus commanded his followers to love so they could receive the Spirit and have everlasting life. While we cannot see Jesus directly, his command to love points us to his face in others. When we grow closer to others, we grow closer to God. So, love is the means that advances us in the Christian life. It is important to show love to others, even the, those in our own homes. That is especially important right now, as we are spending more time together than we might typically do. This week, we challenge you to have your family members write each other's notes of encouragement. Your family members can exchange the notes at one time or place them where the recipient can find them throughout the week. You could also write and mail or email notes of encouragement to others in your larger family or members of our church family.
Last summer, we put on a musical called The Tale of the Three Trees here at First Presbyterian Church. I played Fruity. We had an awesome cast of kids and youth and the best adult helpers you could ask for. Thanks again to Miss Paula and Miss Susie for all your help and encouragement while we got our musical together. Thank you, Miss Rice, for playing the piano. We were also very glad to have Pastor Davis join us in our musical as Woody the Woodcutter. It was fun to get work to get to work together and try something new in the tale of the three trees. In the the tale of the three trees brought to life the story of some trees with a dream and God with a plan. We met Annabelle who dreams of holding great treasure, Bud who longs to become a mighty ship, Gabriel who just wants to just stay in the forest and point people toward God. Through the eyes of Woody the Woodcutter, Stump, Woodsworth, Dreamer and Fruity. We were reminded that even when we can't see the forest for the trees, there is no prayer that is too small for God. We hope we can do another musical soon. But for now, please enjoy this look back at one of our favorite songs from the show.
us pray. God of everlasting love, we are bursting with the joyous wonder of new life that you bring to all people. Yet we know that sometimes the good news goes unnoticed, unproclaimed, unannounced in word or in deed. We pray that the life-giving breath of your spirit might move all over the earth as it did in the beginning of time and renew our world. In places where there is discord and fighting, disagreement and war, send, send your, your spirit, spirit of, of life into our world. world. Where people are afraid to question or wonder for fear of being laughed at or discredited or imprisoned or punished, Send your spirit of life into our world. To our planet and all its creatures, people, plants, animals, rocks, oceans, fields, forests, and rivers. Send your spirit of life into our world. For all of those who are hurting and hiding, not sure that the gospel is for them, send your spirit and life into the world. To all of those who need forgiveness, healing, comfort, and hope, Send your spirit of life into our world. For your church, that we might always work for justice for all people, seek the truth, and welcome questions and wonder. Send your spirit of life into our world. Send us now, full of your spirit of life, into your world so that we can be bearers of that life, that hope, that love, that peace to all with whom we come in contact. Hear us as we pray for all creation, using these ancient words we have been taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Forgive us, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us as, of our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into, into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. We want to take a minute this morning to thank all of our Sunday school teachers, helpers, and other volunteers that make our many activities at First Presbyterian possible. We hope that you know how much we appreciate you and miss you while we are away from each other. We can't wait to see you. When there was a need, you came forward. And, and so we thank you. Even in the coldest, darkest part of the year, you helped. And so we thank, thank you. you. Sometimes with the help of many hands, other times alone, you worked. And, and so we thank you. You you gave your time, talent, and even your treasure for the life of our congregation. And, and so we thank you. For all things great and small that you have given this congregation, we take time today to recognize you. To, to thank, thank you and to honor you. you. Thank you, Bible Time teachers, for helping us during this crisis. Thank, Thank you, Sunday, Sunday school teachers. teachers. <laughs>
Hi, my name is Amy Backstrom. I'm the Director of Family Ministries here at First Presbyterian Church. And every year at the end of the year, we like to honor and celebrate our um, graduates from both high school and college. So some things have stopped in our world, but graduation certainly has not. And we want to validate their work and all of the time that they have put in to get to where they are today. So we'll start with our high school graduates. First up, we have Mason Garcia, who is graduating from Worcester High School and will be heading to The Ohio State University in the fall. Next is Zach Miller. He will be graduating from Triway High School and will be heading to Florida Tech. Cameron Edmiston will be graduating from Central Christian High School and will be heading to Shenandoah University in the fall. Every year we give out the Martha Robinson Scholarship, which is awarded to female um, active members in our church who are college bound. And this year we have two. Um, Emma LaJudas will also be graduating from Worcester High School and will be heading to Ohio Northern University. Mackenzie Hancock is our second recipient and she will be graduating from Triway High School and will be going to Mount Vernon Nazarene in the fall. We also have college graduates that we would like to um, congratulate. We have Peter Gooch, who's graduating from The Ohio State University with a Bachelor of Music. He will be residing and working in Columbus um, with hopes of going to graduate school in 2021. Caitlin Kayat has been um, an instrumental figure in our junior and senior high class. She helped with confirmation class that we had last year. Um, she's been a great resource to have in our um, older youth um, part of our church. And we are happy to say that she is graduating from the College of Worcester. We're not happy to say that as she's leaving, but we are happy that her hard work has paid off and she is graduating um, this spring from the College of Worcester with a Bachelor of Arts in Anthropology and Religious Studies. Um, she hopes to go to Philadelphia and work in the nonprofit sector. Scott Perkins is also graduating from the College of Worcester. His degree is in neuroscience with a minor in piano performing, and he hopes to go to medical school in the fall of 2021. Scott Perkins is also a choral scholar. Um, every year we are blessed with beautiful, vocally uh, talented students from the College of Worcester who come down and join our choir. Um, and Eric Gasteyer and the magic happens up there. So um, we are thrilled to have Scott Perkins, Andrew Peacock, and Rachel Tomei as our college scholarships, and we wish them the best of luck. Andrew Peacock is graduating from the College of Worcester with a major in English, a minor of, in history, and he hopes to find a job in the medical field um, currently to help the pandemic that we are going through right now. So we wish you all the best of luck as you enter into this new chapter of life and um, hope that God's peace and love just surrounds you as you continue your journey into great things because we know you will do great things. So thanks for blessing our church with your presence and remember you always have a home at First Presbyterian. Wherever we are, we are in God. Wherever we are, we are in Christ, and Christ is in us. Wherever we are, the Spirit abides with us and in us. We go forth in peace and hope, upheld by God in every way. Let us go forth in faithfulness and trust. May all see the love in God and through us. Sanctuary filled with signs 
child of God, I've remembered you. Remember me. say I find simple words of thanks uh, falling far short of what I feel for this service of worship. So much thanksgiving and gratefulness to the leadership here, the adult leadership, to all of our precious and wonderful children and youth who have shared their gifts with us this morning, to our teachers and our youth group leaders. I think we can all join our voices and say thank you so very much. In this dark and uncertain time, you have given us a spark of joy and a spark of hope that we can carry with us throughout this week. And I pray that it will spill into the weeks to come. When we have those bouts of loneliness and possibly some depression because we're holed up in our homes, especially uh, those of you who are living alone. Uh, go back to the website. Turn this on. Remember that we have got the most remarkable children and families, and it is for them, for them, that we have kept the faith and that we are working to pass that faith on to them as they are in the early stages of their journeys. May God bless each and every one of you. And as you leave the service this day, go knowing that you are embraced in the steadfast love of God forever, 
that you are redeemed in the grace of Jesus Christ now and always, and that together we are being empowered for faithful witness and loving service this and every day of our lives. May God's hope and peace, God's joy, God's ever-embracing, unending love go with you now and always. Amen. Remember me in a Bible cracked and faded by the years. Remember me in a sanctuary filled with silence prayer. And age to age and heart to heart, bound by grace and peace. Remember me when the children leave their sons.